March 11, 2019, Monday of the first week of Lent. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to the whole assembly of the children of Israel, and tell them, Be holy, for I, the Lord your God, am holy. You shall not steal. You shall not lie or speak falsely to one another. You shall not swear falsely by my name, thus profaning the name of your God. I am the Lord. You shall not defraud or rob your neighbor. You shall not withhold overnight the wages of your day laborer. You shall not curse the deaf or put a stumbling block in front of the blind. But you shall fear your God. I am the Lord. You shall not act dishonestly in rendering judgment. Show neither partiality to the weak nor deference to the mighty, but judge your fellow man justly. You shall not go about spreading slander among your kin, nor shall you stand by idly when your neighbor's life is at stake. I am the Lord. You shall not bear hatred for your brother in your heart. Though you may have to reprove him, do not incur sin because of him. Take no revenge, and cherish no grudge against your fellow countrymen. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm The response is, Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The decree of the Lord is trustworthy, giving wisdom to the simple. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The command of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eye. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true, all of them just. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. Let the words of my mouth and the thought of my heart find favor before you. O Lord, my rock and my redeemer, your words, Lord, are spirit and life. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in his glory, and all the angels with him, he will sit upon his glorious throne and all the nations will be assembled before him. And he will separate them one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. He will place the sheep on his right, and the goats on his left. Then the king will say to those on his right, Come, you who are blessed by my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink, a stranger, and you welcomed me, naked, and you clothed me, ill, and you cared for me, in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? When did we see you a stranger and welcome you, or naked and clothe you? When did we see you ill or in prison and visit you? And the king will say to them in reply, Amen, I say to you, whatever you did for one of these least brothers of mine, you did for me. Then he will say to those on his left, Depart from me, you accursed, into the eternal fire prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry and you gave me no food. I was thirsty, and you gave me no drink. A stranger, and you gave me no welcome. Naked, and you gave me no clothing. Ill and in prison, and you did not care for me. Then they will answer and say, Lord, when did we see you hungry or thirsty or a stranger or naked or ill or in prison and not minister to your needs? He will answer them, Amen, I say to you, what you did not do for one of these least ones, you did not do for me. And these will go off to eternal punishment, 
but the righteous to eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord.